Welcome to all the uh, to day 66, day Jagu 66. Well, I went down today to uh, just about 100 kilometers from Italy, from a place called Udine. Um, the, the place is actually in Austria. It's in uh, uh, between uh, Austria and just coming onto the borders of Italy. Um, so it's uh, it's uh, Carinthia. Uh, the actual name of the place, the actual company is, uh, I'll just get it for you here. Uh, it's this, this is the name of the company. They're called, uh, yeah, they're called uh, RP Tools. Um, <clears throat> and you can get the website in English as well if you want. You just go RP Tools and you'll see all the stuff. They do lots of um, hydraulic stuff, you know, hydraulic lifts, uh, single post lifts. Twin lifts, uh, scissor type lifts, all kinds of stuff. And, and I bought these three items today uh, from them. So, what I'll do, I've got to set this one up. This is single phase, this spot welder, but I, it hasn't come with a plug. Strangely enough, it's come with just about everything else, but no plug because everybody has different systems. So, I'll go down tomorrow and get a plug for it, but I, I have to go to Vienna tomorrow, so I won't have time. Uh, I need to chuck swap the uh, XKs over. Uh, put my one onto the jig and bring it back down and carry on working. Anyway, um, so basically this is the this is the uh, I'll go through them quickly. So this is the this is the spot welder. It's uh, quite a nice little carriage that comes with it. Uh, and what it's got, I haven't plugged it in yet. Obviously, I haven't put anything on because I've only I've only been back. Um, I've only been back. Uh, about an hour, so, but, but basically, uh, this is like a, um, a, a a balance, so that when you so when you pick up the gun, it's it's kind of nicely even, nicely balanced on it, which is nice. It's air operated. It comes with a regulator and everything. Uh, you can set it up. You've also got a, um, a pistol style with it, where you can do. Uh, stainless steel, aluminium, you can do metal but only up to a certain gauge with this pistol where you just put it on top and also what goes onto this pistol is this piece this is the, uh, this fits onto it and this is where you put your, you attach your probes and then you can twist and pull, pull, pull your dents out so it's a, basically a slide hammer that comes with it um, you can, as I say, you can spot weld with this only small, only small stuff. You really need the big spot welder for that, and it's got different bits and pieces with it. So I'll set it all up. I've, I've basically just made up the carriage tonight uh, because I was working on this uh, 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 on this English wheel as well. But I think that's going to be really nice. It, uh, it runs quite nice. I say the only thing is they didn't send was the cable, but everything else. Um, what I'll do is, is I'll do a review on these things. When I try this out, I'll, I'll do a review on it, I'll do, I'll do a whole review on it, and I'll actually do some welding with it. The same with the English wheel, and the same with this. I bought this thing, it's only 80 euro. It's, um, it's, it's, basically, just a, it's basically just a dolly for, uh, for underneath the ramp, because when I'm on the ramp and, I, and I'm changing the oil, you can, you can basically hold that and then you can move this up. So it goes to different heights and you can move it in and out. So I can put it right underneath because I've got to service the Jag and a few other cars. But that's perfect for that. <coughs> Otherwise, you, and then the nice thing is you put a drum on the bottom and you can move the drum around instead of messing around with it. Got a little valve here. And inside is nice because it's got a drain in it, so all the crap goes into it and not into the not into the uh, oil. And uh, also you can put your filters in. Put it down like that. You can put your filters inside and, uh, and let them drain because it's terrible. You leave them and they're half in oil and half not. So anyway, um, so I'll show you a few of these others. But that in eighty euro. Kind of wrong, really. So I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you. I'll show you this. So this is what you get. Um, this is what you get with it. This you only get like a starter pack. So they've even given us a regulator for it for the airline. So you get a starter pack. Uh, these are these star ones. 
that go on you just use the tips you 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 uh, when you're pulling out a dent you can just t change this around you basically put it on create the arc and then pull on it and then you give it a half twist and it comes off this is obviously the earth strap these are some, some studs they sent with it they only send you a starter pack because the idea is you come on these ones are where you you weld in between each one of these these are these these springs you you can cut them or, or use them as long as you want but you basically weld in between each one of these and then you can put these arms on them you know these grabs it's like something out of Edward Scissorhands and you put these on and you can pull on them um, and there's different styles there's enough there to keep going anyway different nozzles and and bits and pieces this is that thing I was talking about that heats up it's like a carbon it's like a carbon tip and basically what it does is it heats up and you can use this for shrinking panels so instead of using a shrinking uh, disc, a stainless steel shrinking disc, you know, rubbing it all over the metal, all over the panel and then quenching it, you just put this on and then quench it and, and cush your heating out much quicker and of course the, uh, the shrinkage will be quicker as well. So there's the, there's the gun. And I must admit, it's, it's very, it's pretty lightweight, I, I'm, I'm surprised one hand's easy enough, very easy to pick that up. So, um, yeah, so I'll get it all going tomorrow because as I say, this is single phase. I thought they did them in three. He said you know, they do them single because most most people in uh, you know uh, in garages have single phase. So so I have to get a plug on that. Um, even the even the wrapper on it's it's very good. So um, yeah, and then the next one is this. This is this uh, English wheel. Again, I'll do what I'll do is is I'll as, I, as I'm working with this stuff. Um, you, you can see there, that's the panel on it. When I'm working with this stuff, I'll, I'll do a review on it, a full review on it. But this is really nice. I've been looking for an English wheel for ages. And the majority, I mean, you can see how thick this thing is. It's massive. Um, and obviously, it's at the right height. You can stand here and do it. You don't know. I thought, when, when I, I thought it was bench mounted. And I didn't realise the size of it until the guy pulled it out in the box. And I thought, shit. But it's massive. <coughs> And there's the six, six different rollers to go with it. And the nice thing about this is you've got a massive throat on it, as you can see here and here. There's a, a very deep throat. But the nice thing about this is you just turn this. Let me just take my tea away. I'll move it there. You can just open this. And what you can do is drop this down, this main bearing, main wheel. You turn it and turn it that way. So you can do it. And the same with this. You've got a, a slot on it here. So you can actually turn this around. You can change this easily. Um, so you can have it sideways on or, or the way it is now. And the other great thing that I've not seen on any of the others is um, it's got this um, uh, cam so that if you want to release it, you, you can just go like that and take, bring it away from the, from, the, from the, you know, so you can just pop it up and down, which is really nice. And the thing about this is the foot wheel, when you want to adjust, you can just adjust with your, I've got, my, I've got my Crocs on, but you can just adjust like that. And you can see it gets looser or whatever. I don't know if that will show up. Yeah, you can see. Anyway, yeah, so I'll give you a review on that once, uh, once I start using it and, um, and see how it works out. But I mean, that's a big chunky piece of kit. I'm sure I'm going to get emails when people ask me what this stuff costs. So... That machine there, complete, is uh, 1,050 euro. I don't know what that is in the UK. It's 1,050 euro. Um, that wheel, the English wheel, which is one of the best I've ever seen, is 501, so 500 euro. I don't know what that is, 400 quid. Uh, and most of the ones I've seen, they've, they're not solid here. They're, they've got bolts in them, which are crap. And that thing was 80, how much was that? Oh, sorry, I tell the light, it was 69 euro, that. 70 euro, can't go wrong, can you? You couldn't make it for that. You can buy little wheels and bits of pipe and valves and gold for that, for that money. So 500, 501, and this is all plus tax, because the tax was about 330. But I think that's really good value. Anyway, uh, this is enough for tonight, and I'll catch you tomorrow, well, maybe tomorrow night, and do a review on one of them. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.